Okay, we are going to talk about a technique called hashing. And hashing is a technique we can use to verify the legitimacy of, of our data. So what is, what, is, what is hashing? What is a hash? Basically, a hash is, is, is a function. You know, let's call it h. That when you apply this function to some data, you get y. Now, so we'll say x is some data. You know, basically, you know, it's ultimately a number, but you know, it's, it's, you know how data is represented in a computer. Um, most of our functions will, will be dealing with string, and it returns um, this value y, which is a fixed length bit string. Usually, um, you know, on the order of, you know, depending on the algorithm, 32 to 256 bits, you know, are the, are the, um, the algorithms we'll be dealing with. It, it can be arbitrarily length, but um, the, the kind of common functions we'll be dealing with basically take x, um, you know, data x of any size, you know, some big long bit string, and returns a function or returns a value y that is fixed length. Um, and, and hashes have a lot of uses, um, and they have a lot of properties too. So um, let's talk about some of the properties of this hash function h. Okay, so generally, a property of a hash function, a good hash function h, is that for a particular value of y, for a particular output, it's really difficult to um, find an x that'll generate that y. Um, you know, there's, it's, it's very difficult to, to um, find a piece of data that hashes to something specific. Likewise, it should be infeasible, you know, practically impossible, to find a particular input x for a particular output y. So if we hash some value into some you know, other value y, we take that other value y and we cannot reverse this. This means it's a, a, a one-way function. Another property of a hash function, a good hash function, is you can't modify x without significantly modifying y. And generally you want, if you just change one bit in x, which could be you know, thousands of bytes long, you want y to be completely different. Um, and again, this, this you know, kind of hinges on some of these other properties as well. But basically, um, the whole idea is that for any particular x, you get a, a unique y. You can't get the x from that y. And changing the x just a little bit gives you a totally unique y. So there's very little correlation between x and y. You know, each of these properties has a vocabulary word associated with it and some more rigorous explanation. And if you would like to learn about those things, you should take CS387, which is uh, applied uh, cryptography. And this is, you'll learn, you'll learn about hashes to death. We are going to use hashes quite a bit in this lecture because it's a really handy way of uh, verifying data.